It's the Date Master checking in. Hope y'all are enjoying y'all evening. We're going to have an interesting conversation about this. Uh, your boy 50 Cent and Lil Wayne uh, on this Tunchy Radio. Uh, got a lot of backlash. And I listened to the clip. I really didn't see where he, uh, you know, he really didn't say anything out of line too much to where he would get the, the backlash that he, he's getting. But this is what I noticed. When a man pedestalizes or, you know, raise something higher than, you know, the black woman. The black woman is beautiful. And the black woman knows she's beautiful, but she does have some narcissistic tendencies as other women of other races. But when you when a man puts another race or different, you know, type of woman on a pedestal, he gets backlash because a man can't have standards. But women can do all of this. I upgraded. They can go and date outside their race. They can go and, you know, do this and do this. And it's an upgrade. But when a man does it is, you know, he's going to get backlash because he's not allowed to have standards. But the thing that I think got 50 cent the backlash that he got was he mentioned the anger of black women which i think it is some truth in that see people don't like hearing the truth whenever you hear emotional rhetoric and response to something someone has said there is some truth in it because only a hit dog will holler but the man's fetish with exotic women it's not so much as these other women are better they're different we as people we're curious so the fetish of this is based upon it's just like food to where if you would go to you know places like italy or somewhere that has you know a a, a similar standard of living like you would find here in the in the americas or the uk or wherever they have certain things that are considered a delicacy like escargot and you know you know, geez, these different dishes. So people say, well, you know, I have a fetish for that because it's rare. It's different. But when a man says, you know, a particular type of woman is exotic, she may be from, you know, another country or she's, you know, has have a different background racially and culturally, whether it's, you know, Latina, Hispanic, Middle Eastern, Asian, whatever the case may be, it's different than what he's used to. So anything that's different or uncommon will be identified as an exotic. This is, you know, this is this is not nothing, this is nothing new. So when people, like you said, but the term exotic has a, a, a sense of a, a tone of better. The tone and the, the context is that when he mentioned that, you know, he, he he's riding around with something exotic, it means the woman translated that He's riding with something that's better than them. So a lot of men see other men with these exotic women and they have this sense of envy or this uh, sense of jealousy or, you know, shock and awe because they've never seen this type of woman. This, this type of woman dealing with this type of man is not too common unless you have money. And you see this a lot with men that have money and that are, you know, in a space financially that they can travel abroad and, you know, go in places that will, you know, may have a variety of exotic women because these women know how to fish as well. There's is it's, it's not it's not universal or exclusive to, you know, black women to find these guys that are athletes or rappers, singers, actors, whatever the case may be. These other races of women, they want to be protected as well. They want financial stability as well. It, it's, it's, it, nothing changes. All women are not the same, but mostly all women are the same. They're going to look for the same things in a man. They want masculinity. They want financial you know, stability. They want physical protection. They want that. And if they see an opportunity to deal with a man that you know is financially able and financially stable, they're going to do it. Because to them, this man may be exotic because she comes from a race. She comes from a different background. So she may be looking at him in the same fashion that, or capacity that he's looking at her. She's looking at him as, you know, this is something new, but he he's financially stable. Now, we, we have to keep it in context that a lot of these women that we may den identify or label as exotic, they would not look your way if they didn't see any kind of value in you. 
if you weren't who you were, if you didn't have the money you had, a lot of the you wouldn't have the opportunity to engage these women because they don't frequent spots that people that don't have money frequent. You're not you may not find them in your your wing spot on Friday night. It's possible you may, depending on what what, what city and state you're in, but it's not going to be too common. So the man's fetish for the exotic for exotic women is based upon his interactions. A lot of the exotic uh, labeling also comes from the mindset. A lot of uh, stereotypes come with exotic women. A lot of stigmas come with exotic women that they're more loyal. They're more feminine. They're more this. They're, they, they don't think as this. They don't think the same. But, you know, that's debatable. It, again, it depends on where they grew up. A lot of women may have, ex you know, different background ethnically, but they may have grew up in the same areas that you may have grew up. They may come from the same background that you may have come from. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to have the same values as you do. So um, it's just a mindset. And it's, the, it's, 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 a lot of, it's a lot of other factors that go into it. A lot of men, they have bad experiences with women, you know, that look like them, that, that are the same race as them. So they date outside of that and they go and get, they try to, they, it's, I don't want to say they try to degrade black women or any women that come from their race, but they, they look at it as, as a, I have the opportunity to date someone different because we are all expected to date within our race. It's not spoken out loud, but this is something that a lot of people feel the pressure of. I can't bring someone home that doesn't understand my plight, that doesn't look like me, that doesn't think like me. So this is also a motivating factor for men to pursue and fetish you know, make this a fetish for them. They want the experience. They want to see if they can attract women of other races. Men, again, we have egos. So we want, we feel if we can dominate, you know, women in this area, in this race, and, you know, in this, you know, culture, I can do it in others. So it's, it, it just comes with the territory. But again, this just, this, you will mostly see this with guys who, you know, are in, those areas like Miami, Los Angeles, New York, Atlanta, you know, it depends on where you are. And the more money you have, the more options you're going to have, the more options of women, because, again, women are the same. In that sense, a man with money is a man with money, green, purple, yellow. A man, if he has resources, she's going to, you know, take a liking to that because he can give her some opportunity. He can remove or relieve a burden that she may be dealing with, even though she may be as fine as wine on the outside. You don't know what she's dealing with on the inside or financially. That's why a lot of these quote unquote exotic women, you will only see them dealing with men of, of means, a man with a reputation, a man with power, a man with, you know, success. You won't see them dating too many regular guys unless they're paying. Unless it's some kind of transaction. But, you know, a lot of women took, you know, they, they took it personal when he mentioned that black women were angry. So this is, I think, this is the area where a lot of people, you know, get their emotions involved, which you shouldn't care. But the, the, the comparing in which we will compare women do it all the time. We compare because we want to weigh up the options and weigh up the the pros and the cons on is this better, you know, compared to what I, you know, dealt with in the past. This woman defers in this way. She's this, she's that. So men that have bad experiences, if they get the opportunity to get a get an exotic woman, they're going to compare. They're going to compare and they're going to, you know, they're going to be happy <laughs> with their choice in most cases even though they have the same tendencies as, you know, other women to leave and hit you with a divorce rape and do all of the things that you see on the news. It is based upon experience. So when a man comes into the presence or he gets the opportunity to vo voice his opinion on what he likes, whether it's exotic or what, whatever the case may be, he has that right to. We all do. But as you get more successful in your endeavors, you're, options and opportunities will change and a lot of men they want to put themselves in position so they can deal with an exotic woman an exotic woman because 
dealing with, you know, women where they're from has not worked for them. So they're working hard. They're, they're, they're taking themselves out of the dating scene to put themselves in a position to deal with a quote unquote exotic woman to see if that experience is either going to be different or is it going to be the same. It's the date master.